just can't start it off any better than that. So we have Javier Gomez and Bruno Malfasane here for you on mat number one, kicking off the men's rooster weight division for the day. And we'll be moving on up the weight classes of the day progresses. And uh, you've got to think that Bruno is a favorite for the men's rooster weight final, if not the favorite for the entire division, John. Yeah, I mean, historically, he is the favorite for rooster weight, and uh, he's one of the most decorated champions that we've ever seen. So uh, <laughs> definitely hard to make an argument against that. Bruno's just, his movement is so good. It's almost like he has superpowers, John. Maybe he does. Maybe he does. It's incredible the way that he moves. For those that maybe have never seen him before, um, he, he does oh, things. Nice that, guard pull. Yeah, absolutely. And he's, he's got a deep De La Hiva here. And but he, he can jump to that, too. Yeah, and that's what I mean, is he can do things that no other human being can do. He lifts up Tamanagi <laughs> right into mount. Oh, my goodness. He'll get two for the sweep and then four more for the mount. Surprised to see Gomez not trying to immediately escape. Bruno's on the give arm. Give up that arm. Yep, it looks like the elbow is past the hip line. Yeah, he, he was just a little shallow. Nicely defended by Gomez. Pretty uh, brazen attack from Bruno so early, yeah. too. Bruno throwing caution to the wind. We saw this from him last year, though. He made short work of many of the other competitors in the division. And look at that pass. Right away, he's just all over Gomez. Incredible. <laughs> right Incredible. <laughs> a guard. Uh, to pass, oh, to pass another high-level black belt guard like it, like um, almost as if he's, it's, he makes it look effortless, John. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's like... <laughs> It's like as if there never was a guard in the first place. That is just insane. And he's looking to pass here again. Controlling that, that right leg of Gomez. Gomez now finally setting a butterfly here. And this is what uh, Bruno does so well. And you can see he gets nice and low. Oh, wow. I was going to say Gomez should be able to retain the guard because the shoulders weren't down to the hips. He wasn't. Um, he didn't have his torso quite low enough, but... Proving me wrong, doing inhuman things. Bruno now up 14 to nothing. Only two minutes into this quarterfinal match. <laughs> yep, an inside control. Mounted twice already. Multiple guard passes. The guard passes, I think, he, he spent the least amount of time with guard passing. Yeah. I mean, because that's, that's a really easy aspect of the sport. Especially at the lighter weights in general. Now he's got he's got kind of a neon belly here, but he doesn't have his other leg popped up. Maybe looking to move to mount here once again. He's kind of isolating that far side arm. And if you're wondering if Bruno is going to play the smart game and maybe just try to outpoint his opponent, uh, as we saw from that flying arm bar from mount, mm -hmm. then he just immediately attacked as soon as he saw the, the smallest of opening. Um, no, he's definitely going for the finish. This is about legacy. Yeah, it really is. And, uh, you know, you see a lot of guys. He's a guy that's become really comfortable in a competition setting where he doesn't second guess himself. And he's, he's the type of guy that competes the same way that he trains in the academy. And you see this all the time where some guys maybe in the academy are nice and loose and comfortable, but in tournaments they're Trying not. Trying to step it. over for this triangle. He, he locks up the loose triangle. See if he can make the adjustments. Gomez has his hands together here, so it's going to be really difficult to finish. We'll see if we'll see if Bruno oh, can pull he goes his underneath. I think he's going to separate. Yeah, hands. he does. Now oh, those man. arms are apart. Now, now he's in trouble. Gomez the is in a lot of trouble loose. here. See if he grabs his own shin. And he cinches it in. Yeah, and this should be a tap. <laughs> wow! Absolutely dominant in his moment. And um, yeah, I mean we're. Three minutes and 30 seconds into this fight. And how many points did he rack up before he caught the submission? 14. It's incredible.